Hello and welcome to another budget and Lego video. Now we are taking heater plugs out of a diesel engine. And as we all know, special modern engines can be an absolute nightmare. This is a 1.8 diesel uh, Ford Mondeo, which is actually a lot easier than the two litre ones because the two litre ones are at the back of the engine, which are a nightmare. These at least you can physically kind of see. Now two came out, no problem. One and three came out. Number four, I think is just plainly going to snap. It is way too tight. Number two is kind of moving, but it really is slow and squeaking and making some horrible noises. So I'm going to try and set up the camera and I'm going to show you a way, once it's moving, how to actually take this out. Even if this takes you 10 minutes, even if it takes you an hour to take out this way, it still is going to save you a lot of time and money, you know, getting other ways out of it. If it snaps, I will show a video how to remove a snap one. I think that one's going to snap, so I think I'm going to have to film that, showing you how to remove it. But, yeah, I have a feeling uh, this one might take some time or snap. I know it's not very good, but you can see the actual bar um, that I'm using, the extension lead, or the extension. As I'm using my phone, I can't really show me turning the ratchet but i've just put some tipex mark there and you can see how much i'm going to be turning this so that's the tipex mark you can hear that and let's go back and we just have to keep going backwards and forwards it's frustrating and just try and go a little bit more every time you try and open it but be careful do not force this People might not like this noise. <laughs> oh, it feels so bad. You can see we are physically moving more each time. You'll get a feel to know when something's gonna snap. It is a feeling you can get and you don't force it past that. I'm using no heat, no WD-40, no nothing. Just backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Feeling good, I've got a good feeling about this one. Problem is, this could be cross-threaded, so the thread could be damaged inside the engine block. We'll have to address that once it comes down to it. But for the minute, we are moving. Right, you can see what I'm doing, so I'm gonna keep doing this for a few more minutes and I'll turn it back on if we are getting any better right certainly uh, feeling a lot better you don't have to go all the way back to the start once you get moving you don't necessarily have to go all the way back to the start as you can see there i'm not we've nearly done a full turn this is moving so much easier now you know still making that noise there we go look at that that's a full turn i know for a fact if I just did that straight away, now it's getting tight, so we're going to now go back. If I just went for this full on, we would have broke this straight away. But we've now done a full turn. Getting tight there again. I think we've got it. There we go. Nope, it's got tight there again. You'll feel it getting tight and you just stop yourself. And do the wiggle. 
I know some people are going to love this sound. It's going to be a brilliant video for them. <laughs> Did that just break? No, I slipped off. Oh, I, say, I actually thought that sounded like it broke there. And I was putting no pressure on it at all. Now, if it's going to break, it's going to break. Um, there's not a lot you can really do, unfortunately. Someone's cross at it or something like that. This just gives you your best chance. And the beauty of this way is you don't need any specialist tools just for ratchet and your socket. Feels good again. I think we got it. Oh, please. All right. No, it's getting tight, but we're getting there. That's the most important thing. I slipped off. There we go. About 10 minutes, I would say, it's taken me. We have another problem. Can't really see it. Oh, there it is. You can just see it down there. The threads look good there. Let's get a bit of light on. You can see, there we go. Threads look okay. But it just seems to be spinning at the minute. So, let me just uh, keep spinning this and see what happens. Now I haven't seen it yet. This is the first time we're going to see it. Boom. And uh, looks like maybe being cross threaded. It's very shiny coming out. It's very rusty. But it's out. You just see down, oh the light shining weirdly now. Just see down there, look. It's out. The threads in there don't look shiny, which is a good thing. So that means it hasn't like recut its own thread coming out. Um But there we go. So that's it, that's how to take a heater plug out without breaking it. Just take your time. Now what I would suggest is um, we still need to check the threads and stuff, but that's just kind of for another video. This is just how to take one out. Um, and uh, take your time, don't need any specialist tools. And uh, you know, again, you can get specialist tools which can make it easier, but you don't need it, that's what I'm trying to say. And it came out without us having to drill it out or do anything like that. So we can obviously save ourselves time, save the customer money. But I still think number four just down there is going to break. So in this case, but still one breaking out of four is better than all four breaking. So yeah, the joys of heater plugs. So look, hope it helps. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. Don't forget links up here, links down below. But most importantly, don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one. Sorted.